Now to the president. He gave a very short statement this morning. White House correspondent Wendell Gola reports it was notable for one particular word. His second address to the American people on the Boston Marathon attack was the first in which President Obama labeled it terrorism. Given what we now know about what took place, the FBI is investigating it as an act of terrorism. Anytime bombs are used to target innocent civilians, it is an act of terror. Of course, he knew bombs were used when he first spoke about the attack three hours after it occurred, and Mr. Obama didn't mention terrorism then. Aides say the president has been briefed regularly by his senior Homeland Security advisors, but on this day, he said, there's plenty we still don't know. Who carried out this attack or why, whether it was planned and executed by a terrorist organization, foreign or domestic, or was the act of a malevolent individual. Former advisor David Axelrod says Mr. Obama may have avoided using the word Terror Monday because the fact that it was tax day suggested a homegrown attack. But Arizona Republican Senator John McCain feels the president is generally too reluctant to use the word terrorism. I always thought it was just utter foolishness not to use the word terrorist uh, when we're talking about attacks that kill innocent civilians. By not immediately calling it terror, Mr. Obama recalled called the two-week-long dispute after the deadly attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi about whether it grew out of a protest of an anti-Islam film or was planned as a terrorist attack from the start. And his reference to terrorism less than a day after the Boston attack may suggest a lesson learned. Like Benghazi, some of the president's aides referred to the Boston attack as terrorism before he did. A senior administration official privately called it an act of terror shortly after Mr. Obama spoke on Monday. On Capitol Hill this morning, defense Secretary Chuck Hagel had no doubts. Any event with multiple explosive devices, as this appears to be, is clearly an act of terror and will be approached as an act of terror. Meanwhile, House Speaker John Boehner said calling it terrorism doesn't really explain it. We can describe it a lot of different ways, but, but it was a terrorist attack of some sort. Now, again, until we know who or why, uh, I don't think we can further define it. President Obama will go to Boston on Thursday to attend an interfaith service for victims of Monday's attack. No your word yet on whether he will speak at the gathering. Brett? Wendell Gola live on the North Lawn. Wendell, thank you. So who do you think will eventually be found to have been behind these bombings? Let me know on Twitter. You can follow me at Brett Baer. Still ahead, we'll go live to